Hello everyone. Now I am going to discuss a very interesting topic in natural language processing which is context free grammar. So before starting CFG I want you to remind some basic things like parts of speech. So we all know that we have eight parts of speech in English language like nouns, verbs, adjectives and here you see the determiners. Determiners is the modifiers for nouns words like the a every that these words uh, can be determiners the next thing is constituents uh, so when a group of words uh, we have like a single unit or phrase called a constituent like noun phrase so here see some simple english grammar rules like noun phrase consists of dt and nominal uh, dt is determinant uh, nominal can be noun verb phrase uh, consists of bar and noun phrase verb can be eat run and many more so a context free grammar of cfg keeps a formal way to define what meaningful constituents are and exactly how a constituent is formed out of other constituents like it defines a valid structure in a language here see a derivation uh, that noun phrase consists of dt and nominal uh, dt can be the nominal can be noun and noun can be man so it forms a sentence the man but if a noun phrase starts with verb and nominal it violates the english grammar rule so it's not gives a valid structure for english language but if uh, verb phrase starts with verb and noun phrase then it's okay uh, uh, it's it's not violating the Mm, uh, rule of English grammar. So a context free grammar uh, is a formal uh, grammar which is used to generate all possible strings in a given formal language and context free grammar can be defined by four elements uh, uh, like n, sigma, r and s where n is the finite set of non-terminal symbols and sigma is the finite set of terminal symbols uh, sometimes we call uh, it uh, lexicons and r is the set of production rules where each a goes to beta where a in the uh, like in the left hand side of the rule this a always must be non terminals and this beta can be sigma or n uh, means this beta can be uh, non terminals or uh, terminals or the combination of terminals and non terminals and s is the start symbol so uh, let's see here a example of context free grammar so we have non terminals like s and p b p p p d t and many more s is the start symbol and terminals are slaves man woman and we have some production rules that like um, b p goes to b t and p b p goes to b p p p okay so with this uh, production rules and set of terminals and non terminals can we uh, define a, a sentence uh, let's see so we have a, uh, a rule that s goes to np bp and uh, after that np goes to bt and nn bt is uh, bt can be the and later nn can be man from uh, the rule we can see that uh, dt can be the uh, and then can be man or man telescope and then uh, we have bp bp goes to bi let's see the rule here bp goes to bi and bi can be sleep so finally we have the sentence uh, the man sleeps uh, we got this sentence from this production rules and set of terminals and non terminals given for a formal language and one thing I forgot here that this right hand side of the rules can be epsilon which means uh, the is the empty sequence of a string that means uh, in the right hand side we can have nothing or epsilon it means the terminator termination of the rule So a particular uh, context free language is the set of strings that can be derived from a particular CFG or context free grammar. So sentence in that set said to be grammatical and sentence out, outside this set said to be uh, ungrammatical. This kind of a 
binary decision and sentence in this set means the set is derived by the grammar and this grammar defines that formal language and the language is the set of sentences and the set of sentences is the set of strings so uh, that's all from the basic concept of uh, context free grammar and in the next video we'll see the parse tree thank you